All right, so in this installment, we are now going to look at North America and the way that I've divided it up and the South. Uh, so first, let's deal with the two provinces that I've included with the South, which is going to be by far the most populous and then, of course, the largest by area. So let's first deal with the most populous, and that would be, of course, Ontario. Ontario is going to be the most populous because it has the city of Toronto, which is not the capital, uh, but nevertheless, it is by far the most populous right on Lake Ontario, and it is the home to the CN Tower, as well as other uh, various different uh, things that come up quite a bit in Quiz Bowl, go and look it up. Uh, you also have in Ontario Thunder Bay for Lake Superior. Thunder Bay very often comes up. Uh, and remember that Lake Superior, known to the Native Americans, was Lake Gichigumi, which is the lake upon which Hiawatha, in the Song of Hiawatha by Longfellow, the national epic, uh, he, of course, rode upon Gichigumi. But uh, at any rate, uh, you have as well uh, Ottawa, the capital of the whole country, uh, located right there as well. 90% uh, of the population of Canada actually lives uh, below this line that I'm drawing right here, which would be the northern border of the United States, because you have these populous cities of Toronto and Ottawa and Quebec, which of course is in Quebec, and then of course Montreal, uh, the Royal Mountain, which is what Montreal literally means. Uh, of course, you have here, you cannot quite see it, but Detroit uh, has a bridge called the Ambassador Bridge that goes over to Windsor, Canada, uh, over here on this side. So uh, there was a clue one time about ambassadors, and it included clues like the hotel in which Robert Kennedy was killed was the Ambassador Hotel, and the bridge is the Ambassador Bridge, and of course the painting by Hans Holbein, the Ambassadors. But nevertheless, let's talk about Quebec. Now, Quebec uh, is a Francophone uh, province, meaning obviously uh, French-speaking. You can see it with Montreal and uh, Quebec City. Quebec City is the location of where you have the Battle of the Plains of Abraham during the uh, French and Indian War, in which Montcalm on the French side and General Wolfe uh, were both killed, of course, immortalized in the painting The Death of General Wolfe by Benjamin West. Uh, it is also the, of course, location uh, to where you have the October Crisis of 1970, in which Pierre Trudeau uh, put down a terrorist incident uh, with the famous statement, uh, Just Watch Me, uh, when he enacted a certain uh, uh, measures. Uh, go and, and, and quickly read about it. It will get you points. Uh, and of course, Pierre Trudeau is the um, father of the current Prime Minister of Canada, who is of course going to be Justin uh, Trudeau. Other Prime Ministers to of note is going to be, of course, Macdonald, who I think might be the first, uh, Mackenzie Stanley, that gives its name to uh, uh, the Stanley Cup. Uh, and uh, in the 1990s, it was Mulroney. Uh, but at any rate, you might want to somewhat familiarize yourself. So let's go to then the south, and we'll start out uh, with the west uh, part of the south. So we're going to include these right here all the way up into Virginia. But we're going to start with Oklahoma, so we're going to work west. Oklahoma, of course, is going to be heavily populated with Native Americans, as it was the location of the relocation uh, under, of course, uh, President Jackson of the uh, various native peoples, including the Cherokee, which make their way out here. Uh, Oklahoma City is the capital, which is the location of that hideous bombing that occurred in 1995 at the Murrah uh, building, in which Timothy McVeigh, um, with the help of Randall Nichols, uh, but McVeigh uh, uh, bombed that federal building. It was in response to, of course, uh, uh, what had happened in Waco, Texas earlier in the 90s, uh, in which you have a cult led by David Koresh, who himself claimed to be a incarnation of Christ or Christ himself. Uh, and he led a group known as the Branch Davidians. And they were, of course, harboring all kinds of weapons. Uh, and a horrible, horrible event occurred when they were besieged by the ATF. Uh, and essentially, uh, as they besieged the compound, it uh, caught on fire and, and, and dozens of, of women, children and men all died in the conflagration. It was just a terrible thing all the way around. But it was a part of this uh, kind of anti-government movement. And so that is what uh, perhaps played a role uh, with Timothy McVeigh. And then going all the way back to, it's not a part of this one, but uh, I think it was in uh, Idaho, a place called Ruby Ridge, uh, where Randy Weaver, uh, even in the previous year, I think it was still in the 1990s, maybe 91, 
had an incident in which uh, his wife was actually killed by federal agents. And so it's part of this general uh, anti-government, anti-federal government movement. The border between Oklahoma and, uh, of course, Texas is known as the Red River. And that's why when the University of Texas plays the University of Oklahoma, very often in Dallas at the Texas State Fair, you have what is known as the Red River Rivalry. You also have flowing through Oklahoma, at least in part, is the Arkansas River, so named uh, because it flows all the way through Arkansas uh, when it meets into the, of course, Mississippi River. Um, uh, we move on. Uh, Texas is what we'll deal with next. A rather large state with a rather large population uh, governed from Austin. Uh, Houston, the fourth largest city in the United States behind New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago uh, is down here near Galveston. Very often Galveston is asked about or talked about in Quiz Bowl because of the horrible 1900 hurricane, the Galveston hurricane, in which uh, hundreds of people perished. Uh, San Antonio, also an incredibly populous city uh, down here uh, into the Middle South. Uh, you have the Rio Grande, which of course is the border between Texas uh, and the country of Mexico until it flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Austin is the capital where you will also find the University of Texas. Um, please note that also you have Dallas-Fort Worth. This is a rather large, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, urban area uh, that or metropolitan area, I should say, uh, with kind of like twin cities between uh, the both of them. Uh, governor of Texas, which comes up, is Greg Abbott. Before him, you had Rick Perry, who uh, unsuccessfully ran for president. Uh, and then, of course, um, before Rick Perry, you had George W. Bush, who also served uh, as governor of Texas. So please be aware of all you find. Way out here is, of course, on the far west, El Paso, Texas, where recently, uh, within the last few years, was a horrible incident in which a person uh, went, and I think it was at Walmart, um, a mass shooting killed lots and lots of people, including many of uh, uh, Latino and Hispanic descent. But El Paso, uh, way out here, of course, uh, to the west. But uh, nevertheless, uh, this is Texas, comes up quite a bit. Uh, and you have, of course, the Panhandle, uh, as well as all kinds of other clues as well. Uh, and I, also the home of Ted Cruz uh, and John Cornyn, I think, are the two senators. Um, Ted Cruz was unsuccessfully challenged uh, by Beto O'Rourke, uh, a Democrat. Uh, and so those are names that come up uh, quite a bit uh, as of recent in, obviously, uh, the Quiz Bowl. All right, so we move on to Arkansas, the home of President Bill Clinton of the 1990s, uh, governed from Little Rock, of course, of the famed Little Rock Nine for Central High School that were, of course, integrated. Uh, and of course, the governor at the time uh, was Governor Faubus. Uh, the great jazz bassist, uh, Charles Mingus, has a wonderful composition called Fables of Faubus. Uh, we ought to take a listen to sometime, which is about that uh, incident. So Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, you also have the Ozarks in Arkansas with the Lake of the Ozarks in, of course, uh, Missouri. Missouri is the other uh, state that is dominated by it. Um, and, of course, uh, you have the home uh, of Walmart is in uh, Arkansas as well. That's where, of course, uh, it all began. Bentonville is where Walmart is uh, located. But uh, nevertheless, Arkansas makes sure you know it. Uh, we're going to go up and grab Missouri, which I think is also included, or is it not? I'm looking really quickly. Not Missouri, I include in the Midwest, so we'll deal with it uh, in just a moment. We have the Arkansas River meeting, obviously, the Mississippi. And so the Mississippi uh, continues its flow southward uh, until it obviously forms the border of Mississippi, giving us its name, and then through the capital of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, and then into the city of New Orleans. Uh, Baton Rouge, Red Stick is the, of course, capital. Uh, and you also have an important river, uh, the Sabine River, uh, that often comes up in Quiz Bowl. Uh, so go and look it up, find out what Sabine River is, is famous for. At any rate, um, New Orleans is essentially below sea level. It's kind of like a bowl, but right above it, you have Lake Pontchartrain. Be aware of Lake Pontchartrain. New Orleans also the site of many uh, literary works, including uh, Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 1980, as well as, of course, uh, the play uh, Streetcar Named Desire, because in New Orleans you have all the streetcars. Uh, you have, of course, the French Quarter uh, that is so famous uh, in New Orleans as well. Uh, of course, uh, Louisiana is home to Huey Long, the Kingfish, 
uh, who was governor and senator in the 1930s until his assassination. Uh, a wonderful documentary by Ken Burns about Huey Long. It's not that long. It's only about an hour or so, but nevertheless, uh, a populist uh, politician that was amassing quite a bit of power and had his uh, eye on the, of course, uh, presidency eventually. Uh, nevertheless, um, Robert Penn Warren, the great author of All the King's Men, uh, is essentially based on uh, him. So we move to Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi and the Mississippi Delta essentially begins at Memphis. Uh, that's on the Mississippi River that you see here. Uh, the capital of Mississippi, Jackson, uh, which recently has had some issues uh, with, uh, I think, their water supply and, and the like. Uh, it is home to Biloxi, uh, kind of a destination for various different uh, uh, gambling uh, uh, endeavors. Um, but uh, it's the last state, I think, to have taken the Confederate battle flag off of uh, their state flag. Um, it is the home of uh, Trent Lott, uh, a former senatorial uh, uh, majority leader, uh, and others that uh, have come along. But I'm, off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody uh, of note as of right now. Um, I want to say also that Jefferson Davis, uh, the presidency, uh, the president of the Confederate States of America, uh, was from uh, Mississippi, but I could have that wrong. At any rate, so we move over to Alabama. Alabama is governed from Montgomery. However, the largest city, I think, by population is Birmingham, uh, which is noted for its steel production, kind of like Birmingham, England. Uh, you also have Bessemer somewhere around here, which is a, of course, uh, uh, technique of producing steel, as it were. You have Mobile way down here at the bottom of the, of course, uh, uh, Battle of Mobile Bay with David Farragut. Go and look that up. Uh, and I, I failed to talk about as well the uh, battle that brought an end to the War of 1812, which is the Battle of New Orleans. Uh, the Battle of New Orleans, I always like to ask about Pakenham, uh, but of course the victor ultimately was that of Andrew Jackson. Um, nevertheless, so here if in the north of Alabama, you have Huntsville, which is the home of the Rocket Center, uh, and where you can go to space camp. Uh, and that is where, of course, much of the work developing the rockets, especially the rocket Saturn V, which was the most powerful rocket until most recently, uh, that took the Apollo missions to the moon. Uh, and of course, that was headed up by Werner von Braun, a former uh, German and a, work, or a scientist for the Nazis, who, of course, uh, defected here to the United States and in the 1950s and 60s developed uh, the rockets that were able to obviously take us into outer space and the moon. So let's jump down to Florida. Uh, Florida, an incredibly important city. Oh, by the way, Alabama currently is led uh, by, I think her name is Kate Ivey, but uh, the, of course, senator in the news quite a bit lately is Tommy Tuberville because of his uh, blocking of various different appointments uh, for the United States Armed Forces. So we move to Florida. Lots to say about it. Uh, it is currently led by Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, you also have Senator Marco Rubio, who comes up quite a bit. DeSantis is currently running for president here in the middle of 2023, uh, moving into 2024. He's vying for the Republican nomination. Uh, it is governed, uh, is Florida from Tallahassee. Um, you have the Panhandle with Pensacola, Panama City, uh, then of course uh, Gainesville, home to the University of Florida, Orlando with all the various different sort of um, entertainments, uh, Disney World and the like that you could find there. Uh, you have Tampa Bay, which is this little part which is right here. And then down here at the bottom you have the Everglades. Uh, in the news recently I've been watching, they have been uh, capturing pythons, which of course are an invasive species uh, in the Everglades, trying to keep them uh, from proliferating and destroying the natural wildlife. In the very south of Florida, you have the Florida Keys, Key West being the one uh, that is essentially only about 80 miles, I think, from Cuba. Uh, you also have Key Largo in the Keys uh, and a highway which moves all the way out to, with a bridge to there. Uh, Miami, by far the largest city, right above it, Fort Lauderdale, uh, West Palm Beach. And in the middle, I always like watching or not watching, but just staring at maps of Florida and noticing Lake Okeechobee. It seemed like it just had a big hole in it. Uh, it is the home to the Lake Okeechobee hurricane, uh, and it is around this area in which you have the action or the plot uh, developing of Zor Neil Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God. Uh, be aware of, of, of that with uh, Jenny Crawford and her various husbands like Tea Cake and 
there's an incident with a rabid dog and so forth and so on. Here in Florida, you have Cape Canaveral with Kennedy Space Center, uh, where many of the launches take place uh, to outer space. Uh, Daytona Beach, St. Augustine, the oldest uh, city in the United States, founded in the 1500s, so called St. Augustine because it was on St. Augustine's uh, feast day uh, that it was established. And then Jacksonville. Jacksonville comes up sometimes in Quiz Bowl because I think it has the largest land area of any city in the United States. Um, Juneau, Alaska has one that's rather large, but I think it might be uh, as well. Uh, here we move into Georgia, so I'm not going to say much about it because, quite frankly, you should be familiar with it. Uh, Savannah, the oldest city of Georgia over here, founded, of course, uh, by James Oglethorpe in the 1730s. Uh, Atlanta is, of course, our capital. Uh, you have the Chattahoochee River, which, of course, uh, comes down along here. And then over here, the Savannah River, uh, providing the border between Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, lots and lots to say, but hopefully you are at least uh, marginally familiar with your own uh, home state, so I won't say that much. We move to South Carolina with its capital of Columbia. Uh, South Carolina, of course, is home to three important senators to know at various different points in history. John C. Calhoun, uh, of course, uh, the famous uh, racist senator and, of course, uh, uh, advocate of African slavery, uh, but played an outsized role of influence in politics in the 19th century United States. Uh, you have the 20th century long-serving senator, Strom Thurmond, who of course ran for president unsuccessfully on a segregationist ticket in 1948. But uh, I think he is responsible for the longest filibuster. Uh, the, some uh, uh, civil rights piece of legislation came up in 1957, uh, and I think he spoke for something like 24 hours, and so uh, quite a legacy uh, that I suppose that he has. Um, nevertheless, uh, Strom Thurmond served so, so many years, decades and decades and decades. And then now, Lindsey Graham, an incredibly influential uh, uh, senator from, of course, South Carolina. You also have Tim Scott. Uh, and the former governor, Nikki Haley, uh, is also uh, noted home to Charleston, which, uh, much like Savannah, uh, dates from the 1600s, uh, even previous to Savannah, uh, with a legacy of a location to where lots of African uh, were first introduced into the American South. Uh, nevertheless, the Appalachian Mountains begins here in Alabama, runs to the Blue Ridge of Georgia, uh, all the way up into the northeast part of the country. Let's talk about uh, Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, of course, is home to Memphis in the far west, uh, Chattanooga right upon the Georgia border, and of course, capital uh, Nashville that is there. Uh, over here in the eastern part of Tennessee, you have the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, where you'll find um, you know, like Gatlinburg and other sorts of issues, or not issues, I say other sorts of uh, tourist uh, opportunities. Uh, the highest point of Tennessee is Klingman's Dome. So that's something that might uh, come up quite a bit, but right on the border between uh, Tennessee and North Carolina are, of course, the Great Smoky Mountains. Tennessee is the home of Al Gore, the vice president in the 1990s, uh, who unsuccessfully ran for president and was defeated uh, by George W. Bush in the year 2000. So both Gore and Al Gore, his father, served as senators uh, from Tennessee. We move quickly into North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina has Mount Mitchell, the highest point east of the Mississippi River, and so therefore uh, that's the highest spot. Uh, you have the capital, Raleigh, named after Sir Walter Raleigh. Uh, you have the Outer Banks, which are a set of islands out here. Often that comes up uh, for North Carolina. Cape Hatteras, also uh, you have over here. Uh, and of course, you have uh, the Research Triangle uh, in this area over here where you'll find uh, Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina, Durham, uh, the location of Duke, and also uh, North Carolina State, uh, Wake Forest, uh, and so forth and so on. Uh, I think maybe the largest city uh, of North Carolina might be Charlotte, which you can, of course, uh, see is located right there. We move on to Kentucky, I think, I'm making sure that Kentucky is a part. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, Kentucky, you need to know both of the senators currently that are there. You have the Senate Minority Leader and previously the Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell. Uh, and then you have Rand Paul, the son of Ron Paul. I don't know that Rand Paul is named after the um, 
objectivist author Anne Rand, but I wouldn't be uh, surprised by it. Uh, libertarian, particularly people who love Anne Rand. So I could see how Ron Paul, uh, that senator from, I think he was from Texas, uh, might have named uh, his son, now senator from Kentucky, Rand Paul that. Uh, nevertheless, the capital of Kentucky is Frankfurt. Uh, the border, the northern border, is of course going to be the Ohio River. Remember that is going to be formed in Pittsburgh with the uh, confluence of the Monongahela and the Allegheny Rivers. But um, nevertheless, uh, you also have the cities of Louisville, uh, which is right on the border with uh, Indiana. Uh, and then, of course, Lexington, home to the University of Kentucky. And so the last two that we'll have for our dealing with the South uh, is, of course, going to be the two Virginias. West Virginia, uh, which is ruled or not ruled, but I should say governed from uh, Charleston. It is the home to Senator Joe Manchin. Uh, important to know, uh, seeing as he is sometimes a bit of a, a swing vote in the Senate and frustration by the more liberal leaning members of the Democratic caucus. Um, at any rate, uh, not much more for me to say about West Virginia. Uh, you do have Charleston, the largest city I think that is there, uh, but uh, moving on to then Virginia. Uh, Virginia is of course ruled from Richmond, or governed, I should say. Uh, you have Charlottesville, the home of the University of Virginia, where, of course, the Charlottesville uh, uh, Unite the Right rally occurred during the presidency of Donald Trump. Uh, its eastern border is, of course, going to be that of the Chesapeake Bay uh, with Newport News and Norfolk, which I think there is in Norfolk, particularly a uh, naval base that is incredibly uh, uh, important and large. But um, the eastern part of uh, Virginia, uh, Chesapeake Bay, and then, of course, the northern part, uh, with especially places like uh, 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 Fairfax County, uh, right along the uh, metro area of Washington, D.C. Lots and lots of people uh, who work in D.C. Uh, live in the northern part of Virginia. Um, really, Virginia is divided into two parts. You have the northern part uh, and then the, the south of the Rappahannock River, uh, which, of course, is, is, is going to be much more uh, rural, kind of like the, there's a split in many places like Georgia being the metro Atlanta area and south Georgia. Uh, you find the same sort of dynamic somewhat in Virginia. Um, uh, Virginia's governor is named Glenn Youngkin. Uh, he has recently won an election, I think, in 2022 uh, as a Republican, uh, because which is significant because... Virginia had been somewhat um, uh, leaning leaning more blue than, than red, but now they have uh, a GOP representative in the, the capital in Glenn Youngkin. Uh, but at any rate, so that's uh, all the stuff that I have for all of these various different uh, places. Um, it's the, the south part of the United States at a minimum. Uh, know your uh, uh, capitals. Uh, but other things to know as well, like, for example, I left out that in Kentucky, you find Mammoth Cave, uh, one of the largest cave systems in the entirety uh, of the United States. Uh, uh, but uh, lots and lots to, to, to learn. Uh, go and look it up uh, and QB reader them uh, and see uh, what comes up. And hopefully uh, you'll earn more points by being familiar with it. Thanks.